Howdy everybody, Drank is Dank here with another technical Minecraft video, and obviously guys, I've been working hard on something pretty special. What you guys are looking at is a fully automated sorting system, but not just any fully automated sorting system. It is expandable, tileable sorting cells in snapshot 13W03A. And as far as the testing that I have uh, given to this machine, as far as I can tell, this thing is 100% reliable. It will never missort anything, get your items deleted, uh, I don't care if you leave chunks, come back, anything at all, this thing is awesome. Let's get right down to it, I'll show you guys how it works. So obviously right here we have our input chest and if you made this room aesthetically pleasing of course you could put the chest you know in the entry hall or on some sort of pedestal or something but for this I just put it right here and this is where you're going to put your items let's go ahead and grab a pile of redstone and just drop it in there and it'll immediately be getting sucked down into this hopper right here which goes to another hopper which goes to a dropper which is a new block in update 13 W03A that dispenses particularly items, not just, uh, you know, for instance, if you put a, an arrow in a dispenser, it shot the arrow, but droppers just drop wood, or wood just drop a, uh, an arrow item. So, awesome stuff. Of course, we have our water streams going on here. Um, over here, we have JL2579's item elevator. Of course, if I'm looking at a uh, sorting system that I want to be 100% reliable, I also want an elevator that is going to be 100% reliable. So, this thing, never seen it fail, probably never will. This thing is awesome, and of course, the items get taken up to the circulation elevation. That's what I like to call it. So our items slide down and enter our circulation stream here, and of course, the water is uh, not as fast as, say, a minecart with a hopper in it, but it gets the job done and is more reliable, and in the long run, is actually faster, which I will address in just a little bit. But let's keep watching. So this redstone will make its way all across this entire sorting system uh, and just graze over all these hoppers that are sorting other items. Here's some pumpkin pie flowing in. Should get absorbed by that hopper right there, and it did. And of course, once that hopper has pumpkin pie in it, it'll feed it down into your designated chests for holding pumpkin pie. And delicious pumpkin pie. So, let's say, just by chance, because Minecraft isn't a perfect and bug-free game, no game is, an item is drifting through our water streams here, and somehow, for some reason, let's say redstone doesn't fall into the redstone hopper. Well, items do have a five minute time limit, that can be problematic when you're talking about uh, reliability because what if it misses it and it has to go all the way around a circle again and five minutes it you know it's so let's say after that circle is made twice five minutes is up and that item is lost forever so to combat that and never lose any items at the end of the stream instead of feeding back into the loop twice I have a little drop chute that drops down and feeds back into this water stream which drops into these hoppers which puts them back in the dropper and so by taking these items from uh, item form and putting them into some sort of inventory whether it's my inventory or a block inventory you actually get to reset that five minute timer and get them to go through the, the loop again as many times as they need to before they get sorted. So. 100% reliable, even if it misses on the first go, it gives it a second go. Um, it may take a bit longer, but it is awesome. Alright, so let's take a look at our sorting units here. Let's build one first. If we throw down chests like that, hopper on top, hopper on the side of that hopper so it's pointing into there. And then we're going to put one block on top of the first hopper, and then one third hopper pointing at the block. You have to make sure that this hopper is not pointing down into this hopper or else the whole thing won't work. So now you're going to take some blocks just like that. Blocks here, repeater under this one facing that way towards the chest, redstone torch, comparator on top, and our redstone dust riding down the back there. So 
this gizma hickey right here. Let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, so this little doohickey will work. Let's sort some diamonds with this. So we're gonna put one diamond up here and one diamond in here. And so now this inventory of this hopper is at 22 items because there are 21 cauldrons and one diamond. So some of you may know, some of you may not know, the comparator, this new little redstone uh, circuit for Minecraft 1.5, can measure, give, it gives a varied output in redstone power based on how much stuff is in a block with an inventory. Uh, so, as if I just put one little item in here, it will output one strong redstone signal. Uh, if it was too strong, it would go to and I'm saying like one and two is numbers, sorry. Um, <laughs> if it was two redstone strong, then it would be powering the second one, but this one's only one redstone strong because it's not to 23 items yet. So right now we have 22 items in here and it's only outputting one. As soon as I put one more diamond in there or one more cauldron for that matter, uh, this, pow this redstone will get powered, which will power the block and power with this repeater, turn off this torch, and unlock this hopper and drain items out of here. But then as soon as it gets back down to 22 items, this will lock and you'll be back in this same state with one diamond, three cauldrons, and 18 cauldrons. So, let me show you real quick. Let's get some diamonds and toss them in there, just like that. And now it is on, on, off. So now it's draining through, and here's our diamonds filtering into the chest. And then obviously, if I throw a redstone dust on there, if I can get it to throw, it'll bounce up and down, it won't go in. So, that is one successful diamond disorder. So, now over here, we get a little bit trickier. When we start to tile this design, we have crossing redstone, which at first you would think that's not okay. But particularly in this design, using comparators and this analog redstone thinking, this actually works perfectly. If, well, I'll get to the if. We'll start out looking at it this way. If I put one more diamond in here, the signal strength that comes out of this comparator will go from one to two, which means right now it's only powering this one, but then once it goes to two, it will power this dust and this dust and this dust because it can travel to redstone from the comparator. But, notice that that redstone there is three redstone from the comparator. So that way, it will only power the block related to this hopper. It, the redstone signal, if I just put one more diamond in there, 20 more diamonds in there, or whatever it is, the redstone signal won't make it to, the, to, the, to unlock the hopper next to it. So it's safe, as long as you make sure that you monitor or uh, regulate, I should say, regulate is a better word, how many items go across the hopper at once. So if a stack, let's, go, let's take a stack of diamonds, if a stack of diamonds ends up in this hopper at once, it will light up the other one. So let's go stack, toss it in, and bounce out maybe. <laughs> oh, it actually made it. Okay, so. There we go, all the diamonds are in here. Obviously you can see it's lighting up all the redstone, which we don't want, and the end result is what used to hold some redstone to sort is now empty, and so it breaks your sorting system. So I had to pay careful attention uh, to that particular aspect of that build when I was building this sorting system, which is exactly why I chose JL's item elevator and this little design with the dropper and AC Tennis AC's little automatic dropper dispenser, uh, which basically just makes it so that as soon as there's stuff in here, it'll start spitting it out. I'll demonstrate that. Let's just, psh, and then it instantly spits it out. Great design by AC. Link in the description for everything that was involved in uh, making this possible. Um, really a, a fun thing to build, and I plan on actually building one of these, except bigger in my survival let's play on the friend zone server uh, so guys check that out please link in the top left great stuff i hope you would enjoy it um, also if you want to see more technical minecraft on that link in the top right you can click that and head on over to my uh, mob fall i do a little talking about 
fall damage mob traps, and update 1.5 and how those things will change and affect each other. And uh, I also built a cool little design for killing your mobs and collecting their drops with fall damage. So check that out in the top right. Last note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a redstone noob, I hope you weren't too confused, but uh, I, I can understand if you were. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Adios.